Hello people, hope you're all well and good. I'm just out on my exercise walk today and before I come and check out a local park, uh, I've avoided parks at the moment because of social distancing and I believe they've been quite busy. But uh, it is a local park so I thought I'd try it out, see what it's like and you know, see if I can go for my exercise here in a safe manner if it's not too busy or find out if it's really not a good place to come at the moment. So, bit of an experiment, we'll see how it goes. I mean, if it does get too busy and it's hard to keep social distancing, I'll just leave and go elsewhere. So, you know, I'm not gonna put my safety at risk. So far, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's a nice day, so it is a bit busy, but it's not like ridiculously busy and uh, the path's pretty broad, you know, so you can. <laughs> Uh, make your distance at the moment as long as it doesn't get silly busy but you know, it's not too bad I've seen a couple of people sat down together which is supposed to be a no-no I mean you're supposed to be exercising on the move and there's just people well a couple of people I've seen just sat down together catching the sun so it's not exactly a terrible crime but I'm just uh, noting what's going on so this is the nice quiet wooded area of the park which I really like, um, it's nice and shaded so I'm not a sun worshipper myself. I like the cool shady places, bit of a shadow dweller, um, yeah. <laughs> My favourite seasons are spring and autumn, so there you go. Coming this route through the park, it's not bad at all. Uh, I say there's a few people, it's fairly busy but not dead busy. Uh, again, I can see quite a few people sat together on benches, just parked up. But for all I know, they could have been doing a few laps around the park and catching the breath. But it is what it is, I'm not going to put judgment on it see if I can get up this way. I very rarely come to this part, to be honest. We've got like a, an animal zone with like uh, rabbits and birds and stuff like that. But I'm gonna give it a miss today because uh, apart from being a grown up punk guy, he doesn't need to see animals of any kind. Uh, can be quite busy with people yeah so it is a really nice sunny day and to be honest I thought it'd be far worse people congregating there is some but not congregating in groups just sat down but yeah it's not as bad as I thought I've not been through the full part yet so time will tell pardon me got the burps So if you've been keeping up to date with the latest coronavirus news in the UK, I've just had an announcement that there's going to be social distancing measures in place till Christmas, at least well for the rest of this year. And uh, I suppose it makes sense and it sounds really harsh at first and it is harsh, it's a big change for everyone, massive change. But I didn't get too disheartened because even though it says social distancing measures will be in place for the rest of this year that doesn't necessarily mean everything uh, they're talking about uh, schools possible open date could be june and i think what's going to happen is they're going to ease the lockdown a bit at a time like first of all you might get uh clothes and electric shops for example uh opening up again and uh you know then some other places might open again and you know uh, you might be able to visit some people family and f a few friends i don't know yet but uh what's going to be last when the ease of lockdowns is going to be pubs restaurants uh concerts football games things like that you know sort of mass social uh gatherings they're going to be the very last to be eased out of it so even though they've said you know for the rest of the year there's going to be social restrictions I think some of it will be eased I don't think it's going to be as harsh as it is now 
all that time but I don't know for sure so we'll just have to see hopefully you know things will start to get better before too long one of my favorite things in this park is the old village stocks it's where all the ne'er-do-wells and wrongans used to get put in a uh, going back hundreds of years ago uh, this stone on this side is original the rest is all reproduction including this stone it's a concrete one or reproduction but that's the original stone of it on that side but yeah they used to put people there to punish them vagabonds uh, ne'er-do-wells tramps and that sort of thing but yes yeah, quite interesting although uh, quite dark should we say so we've got an old uh, stone cross you used to get these everywhere in uh, the UK anyway and I think the date can just make it out it's 1773 so yeah olden used to have crosses on the top of them in villages and stuff a lot of the time so all in all it's been pretty good coming to this park today for a bit of exercise and fresh air uh, it's not too bad with people everyone was being sensible there was no big social gatherings of people there's a few people like family groups out sat together which is fine uh, a few old people sat down together old couples and stuff I mean even if they're coming out for exercise a lot of old people and some folk with health conditions will need to sit down for a bit to have a bit of a rest and uh, you can't deny them that but saying all this uh, this park was heavily targeted by the police because there was just idiots meeting up big social gatherings people having picnics and barbecues and uh, the police put a stop to all that and I think that's probably why it's a lot better at the moment uh, pretty good in fact it wouldn't be my first choice to come for a health walk here because uh, it is you know there's still a fair few people about and I prefer more quieter places anyway but yeah it's not bad a lot better than what I thought it would be so yeah pretty cool anyway till the next video take care bye